here's my first meal of the day. I cooked up a couple of the grass-fed uh, burger patties. And it's got about, um, about a tablespoon of butter smeared all over both patties. And I got a cup of, uh, or mug, <laughs> I should say, of bulletproof coffee. That's got about a, a tablespoon of uh, the good grass-fed butter in it as well. So, first meal of the day, Saturday, the 24th of June. Got me a chicken today. Whole rotisserie chicken. It's a little bit charred, but it's still gonna be good. Mm. Also, I also got some things for snacks. I got the sardines and uh, I got some pre-boiled eggs. I mean, I got, I've got eggs I can boil, but um, I got some pre-boiled, just easy peasy and some smoked oysters. They're in cottonseed oil though, so. Oh no, these are in sunflower. It said cotton, cottonseed oil on the ones I actually ordered, so. <laughs> So yeah, that's not carnivore, but anyway, I'm going to drain that off. So I'm not going to be eating it really. Um, but yeah, snack stuff. Hey y'all, this is me. This is me meal prepping. Getting some hamburger patties cooked up to go in storage for when I get hungry in the middle of the night. Yeah. Yep, yeah, there it is. <laughs> I've got that one and then I've got my my other toaster oven slash air fryer over there <laughs> which I'll be using very soon because I've got some recipes I intend to try to work out not too bad six patties per um, container so right on <laughs> and here's my steak on the meat th thermometer, it clocked in at right at 1.30, so it's it's getting close to like medium rare. But anyway, oh, and my my um smoke alarm did not like it. <laughs> I should have probably uh, waited to do the steak till after I cleaned up from my uh, hamburger prep. But anyway, that's my dinner for now. Here's my other meal of the day. Uh, today is Monday. Um, oh yeah, it's uh, my leftover chicken from Sunday. I had uh, rotisserie chicken on Sunday and I ate all the dark meat and all the skin and all the fat and all that stuff and just had breasts left. So I mixed in some seasoning and three tablespoons of soft butter. So it's kind of like a chicken salad, but not chicken salad. <laughs> Alrighty, this is what I ordered today. I got a crispy pata or pata from um, Goldilocks. And they do include sauces that I don't think I can have. I know the one in the big cup is a sweeter sauce and the other one is like a vinegary sauce, but I think even the vinegary sauce has sugar in it. So, nope. Oh my gosh, look at that crispy, fatty, juicy pork deliciousness. There's a little foot, there's a little pig foot. Yep, lots of cartilage, lots of fat, juicy, juicy pork. I'm excited about this. Hey y'all. <laughs> so this is not a mukbang, obviously. Uh, the food is not the focus, but it is here. <laughs> um, as y'all saw, I got the, the crispy pata. Pata, pata. But look, it's like so much fat and skin and you know, this... <sighs> mm. It's sticky. Mmm. Mmm. And delicious. 
Mmm. So let me get a good piece of meat out of there. Mm. Oh, wow. And there's going to be a lot of meat, too. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's hot, hot, hot. Mmm. Ah. Ow. Ow. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Porky deliciousness. Mm. Oh my god. Mmm. Mm. Mm. So today is Tuesday. <clears throat> June 27th, mm, day 12 of my carnivore journey. <laughs> I'm not doing a weigh-in on this video, mm, but I will on the next video, just so y'all can see my progress. <clears throat> I will, however, include... I think the majority of everything that I've eaten so far this week, um, that's like Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and now today, my little crispy pate here. And this is so much like meat and fat and goodness that it will last me all day today and probably first meal tomorrow. Mmm. This little piece of... Mmm. Yeah, and it's a little crispy, a little chewy. Mm. 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 And my first week on carnivore, this was my first meal. This is my first carnivore meal because as much as I love beef and steak and stuff, I love pork too. So this is a treat. Mm. Not something I'm going to eat every day, obviously, but. Mm. Oh, and this whole thing was $30 from um, Goldilocks. Mm. Oh, my God. Mm. Mm. I love me some crispy pork skin. Mm. Mm. I'm going to try to pull it together tomorrow and do a grocery haul. Because I'm out of steak. <laughs> I'm out of steak and I cooked up all of my hamburger patties. So. Mm. Mm. My goodness. <laughs> mm. Oh, and I didn't bother with makeup today. I didn't intend to be on camera long. Mm. Mm. I mean, honestly, there's not a lot to say. I mean, <clears throat> I'm doing great. I mean, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm really onto something here. <laughs> I mean, because these are foods that I love, you know. I'm a meaty kind of girl. <laughs> mm, or whatever. <laughs> but, mm. so, so far carnivore is doing me good. I'm enjoying it. Mm. And I'll be honest though, I'm kind of looking forward to going a little more keto work. You know, I know I'm saying I'm supposed to be doing keto war slash carnivore right now, but I haven't incorporated a lot of vegetable anything other than like pepper and a few little herbs and whatnot. But 
Mm. I do have green onions in my cart, so. Mm. Mm. So I don't know, just finding the proper mix, you know. But so far, the best things that I'm eating are steaks. Nice, juicy, fatty steaks. <laughs> um, that's my favorite. And that's so far, um, the thing that keeps me full the most, you know, keeps me satiated and happy. And I feel like I've got enough fat. <laughs> I know that sounds so weird, but. You know, y'all have faith. I mean, there's a method to the madness. Um, and there's so much research out there and, you know, so many testimonials from people that have done this diet. You know, it's... Basically, I feel like this is my Hail Mary. You know, this is, uh, this is the one that's going to get me through. Uh, and back down to, I'm, I'm going to eat a pig toe. <laughs> mm. Mm. Back down to a healthier weight. Mm. 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 No, no, but overall we shall see. Mm. So sticky. Mm, that's pork fat for you. Anyway, y'all. Mm, I'm going to pepper my food videos in or put them in the beginning. But um, these are the things that are keeping me going. <laughs> but um, I love you guys. And I, I thank you for hanging with me, you know, regardless of what I'm doing here. Um, I'm doing the best I can. I'm not... I watch a lot of like carnivore YouTubers and they've got it down, you know, <laughs> but posting twice a week, it's like, you know, the big reveal is like the way in for the week, you know, and that's actually not the biggest goal is, you know, weight loss. I mean, it's nice to see, but the numbers on the scale aren't going to uh, completely tell the tale, if you know what I mean. I mean, it'll keep me, you know, in the mind frame that I'm in a, a downward trajectory as far as weight goes. But it's going to be um, <laughs> Amanda uh, Carnivorous Me had reached out to me. And she basically told me that it's the non-victory, you know, goals and, and, you know, achievements that, that really mean a lot, you know, because when the scale's not really moving, because that could happen, you know, I'm going to lose enough water weight where it's going to like plateau and slow way down and, and I've got to keep motivated and encouraged to keep going. So it's going to be the non-scale victories, you know, just doing stuff, you know, going in my kitchen every day and doing something. Walking back and forth in my apartment without being in excruciating pain. I mean, that's a big one. <laughs> it's my inflammation going way down is, is, has been a godsend. I mean, I still realize that, uh, the arthritis in my hip, mm, just, uh, you know how the, the joints get crunchy and they're like pop, 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 pop constantly as you walk. <laughs> you know, it's like crunch, crunch, crunch. Uh, that's going to be something I'm going to deal with, you know, for a very long time. And, you know, I am so ready. <laughs> you know, and not necessarily looking forward to, to getting hip surgery, but that's, that's probably going to be my end goal. It's going to be a hip and a knee for me. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So, big motivation. Anyway, you guys, I love you very much. And just hang in there with me. And there'll be more to come uh, Saturday. Bye now.